Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Racine here back from CNA Small Engines for a uh, review. Uh, the review I'm talking about right now is uh, rifle scopes. Uh, the scope I have in front of me right now is a uh, POSP uh, 6x42 scope. Uh, you can mount these on your uh, AKs and uh, AK variants out there in the market. It has the AK rail right here. You can see it right down here for the uh, AK side rail. Uh, the difference is SVDs have a different type of side rail and you have to have a mounting roll that will actually fit this because they have two different variations of the rails. One for the AK for the 7.62 by 39 the other one for the 7.62 by 54R so you have to make sure you have the proper one for your application. Uh, this scope right here is a 6x42 BA basically it has a uh, uh, focus adjustment right in the back. You can unscrew and loosen this thing up right here for that. And it also has a uh, adjustment for your uh, distance and stuff like that for your scope. And whenever you're shooting a gun with this type of uh, scope on here, some people have a hard time trying to just, um, actually get it on target because basically what happens is when you're uh, shooting a, uh, a target with a scope, is that your actual uh, your reticle inside here moves and uh, you can actually move it two ways. You can move it up and down, uh, side to side. Basically, on your side here, you have uh, a two dial, dial, two, you have two dial. You have a silver dial, you have a black dial. And if you have uh, both bolts right here tight, it moves both dials uh, simultaneously, where if you loosen the two bolts, you only move one. You move the silver dial underneath there. You can move by hand underneath here. And basically, the best way to uh, uh, get this gun sighted in with this uh, scope on here would be to basically take it to the range and go to the uh, 50 yard range and the 100 yard range and uh, figure out what the difference is between the 50 and the 100 on it because uh, there's going to be a wide difference between each uh, uh, area right there for that. So basically, uh, the one side on here, the right hand side part, this adjusts your horizontal motion, your left and your right. So basically whenever you uh, turn it clockwise like this, you're turning it clockwise, it goes to your left. When you turn it counterclockwise, it goes to your right. Now different scopes, they make uh, quite a few variations of these scopes, so read your scope mail for your specific uh, knob uh, type on your configuration. Because your scope at home may have a different configuration than mine on here, so just read your manual because each scope has a different uh, configuration. Some have it goes opposite way, other ones go the opposite way of that. So basically, I like to set it at zero when you take the scope, Let's make it true to zero with a red little line right here. And your top on here, your top one, you counterclockwise, or I should say, I mean, sorry about that, the clockwise, it goes down on this one here, and counterclockwise goes up. So whenever you're setting it in, you gotta remember that for this, this specific one I got right here. So, basically whenever you're shooting a target here, I'll show you exactly what happens. Let me get a map out of here. Say you're shooting a target and you're shooting at 50 yard and you're hitting like say up here. I'll show you a picture here. Say you're shooting like up there, right there where I'm going to target at and you're shooting high but you're aiming for the middle of the bullseye which is the circle of the part right here. You can see it right there. And you want to hit the middle part. Basically what you do is you Take your uh, adjustments on the side here, and you basically align your reticle inside the scope to your actual X mark right down here that I have marked on here. Basically, you take, say you're aiming for the middle, and you know you're dead on the center in the middle. Basically, to line it up properly with your uh, point of aim and point of impact, basically, you do is you take your reticle inside the gun, and you adjust it horizontally or vertically, and you move your target up to where your X is at there, then you retest at your 50 meters, and you uh, go on to your 100 meters, there's the next one on for that. So that's basically how you adjust that so your point of aim will be the point of impact on your uh, target out there. And next is the actual reticle. This is what the reticle looks like in most of these uh, AK style uh, guns out of the POSP and the PO, uh, PO, actually PO, PSO one, sorry about that. The POSP one is the civilian model. That's what this one is. It's a standard POSP. It says, uh, it doesn't actually say it on the side, but it's man Belarus. POSP is a civilian version. The PSO is the basically the military equivalent of that. They have a higher grade optics in it for that. 
and the, uh, the civilian one, they have these types of verticals inside. You see right here, you have your uh, horizontal and you have your vertical and you have your um, uh, bullet drop compensator. You also have your statomatic range finder over here on the left-hand side of my, where my finger is pointing at over here. Basically, you have two uh, range finders. You have one for small targets and you have one for bigger targets. So if you can figure out uh, how far the target is, basically what you do is you line up the uh, two lines here and you fit your target in between the lines and you have little notches on there and you can figure out what the range is like say 100 yards or uh, 200 meters on there you can figure out how far the distance is and you can adjust your scopes uh, mechanisms on top to according to that target so you can hit the target basically it works on the uh, how far it is from your target you're shooting at for you so that's one good thing about that type of scope where you don't gotta have a range find or monocular with a built-in laser or something that bounces the signal off your uh, target. So you can basically do the old-fashioned way with the range finder that has two marks on here and do that. So you also have your bullet drop comments there. That's your lines down here. Uh, the lower ones are usually for like 200, 300, 400, 500, depending on what your application is. Some have the for the comments there for the 7.60 by 39. Other ones have it 7.60 by 54R. So you have to get a scope specific for your type of gun application right there for you so that's basically a review of that type of scope right there in front of a that's your good old pos scope uh, they make these in uh, four power six power eight power I believe uh, nine I think nine I think three and nine power as well too so I recommend getting a higher power one for your AK if you want to get them they have real clear optics and they shoot fairly good and uh, I say they're a uh, quality unit out there in the market. Usually they retail for about, I don't know, about 200 to 400 dollars depending on where you get them at. This one I got it on um, uh, Kalink Optics, I think, on there for uh, 250 bucks, I think, a few years back. So that's basically what they have on the market right now. If you have any questions about scopes, whatnot, just give me a call back here uh, or you can email me on my YouTube page as well, too, or just simply leave a uh, message at the end of this video. I'll see you guys.